Hello, Georgia Burns back again. Today I'd like to show how I made this card. This idea came from Pinterest, by the way. Um, can't remember the username. Ellie, some, I'm sure. I can't remember. So to make this card, I used um, Blessings from Home, which is this one. I just used that flower and you are a real blessing to everyone around you, that one. And I also used these two flowers from Quiet Meadow. And I also used, which I haven't brought over, and I shall go and get. Peaceful Moments. And the thank you, which I forgot about. <coughs> Going to change the colour, and I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I've got a piece of Army blue at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and I have a piece of basic white at three and three quarters by five and a half. And have I got an inside bit? No. And I will have an inside bit of five and five eighths by three and three quarters. For the inside, so we need that. I'm, oh, and I've got a piece of scrap for the flower. And this shape is this cut out of. I think these are called stitched so sweetly. I think I'm not a hundred percent sure. And I use that big die there, and that is where that shape come from. So we need all of this. Oh, because inside this, I stamped thank you, and I also stamped just a bit of the flower there. So put them two out the way, and that there. First of all, we're going to stamp our flower, and I've got my memento ink on my flower. This is the largest bit of white scrap I had, so I've got to be. Being a bit frugal. There we are. Um, don't need this anymore. Right, we'll colour that in and we're going to use the die to cut it out once we've coloured it in. So we'll just set that aside for now and we're going to get, concentrate on this. <clears throat> now what we're going to do with this is place this shape that I've got removable tape on in the middle to the right and just place it on there <coughs> and then we're going to go round it in with a brush in blue ink, balmy blue. And we're just going to Go 
go all around it. Looks a bit green to me. And that's our shape made and then we're going to get the stars or flowers from um, what's it called quiet meadow and stamp all around the outside and some on the shape. I don't know why I'm putting them around there because you won't see them. Up there. Up there. Um, two more there. That'll do. That's all we're going to do with them. <clears throat> now we're going to get our Versafine. And the sentiment, what was that? You are a real blessing to everyone around you. And now this is where we've got to hope we get it straight. And we're going to stamp it this side of the right side of the sentiment. That's fine. And we'll put that to one side to dry. And bring in this one and our marker pens. Not marker pens. Alcohol pens. I've got Barmy Blue, um, Granny Apple Green and Daffodil Delight. So with the Daffodil Delight we're just going to go around the insides of the flowers. Right. Try and spot the middles of these little ones. Granny Apple Green Light. We're just going to Do the small leaves in Granny Apple Green Light. The other one I used Old Olive, but this one I want to use Granny Apple Green. Um, that's it. And then the dark on the rest of the leaves. I believe we're in May already. First of May today. Bank holiday weekend. Right. And then we're going to use the light just to colour these stems in. And now we've got the flower to do. Right. 
the dark we're gonna just color where the shading is on the big flower like that I don't know why I only coloured in that bit and then I'm going to go round and just do around the outside of the centre bit a couple of times just to make it a bit darker light do that again we're going to just do the little ones in the light colour which is running out no um I'll just have to use the dark so I don't have another one. So flower, flower, coloured in. Right, we need to position this. And then tape it down. plates and cut these corners off so it fits And there is our nice flower, all cut out. Just turn back on the machine and pop this back in there. Right, the inside we have to stamp thank you. So have to stamp our flower on the inside. Let's get rid of that. 
I'm only inking up the top half very light I think I need to re-ink this one There we are. I'll try and remember to re-ink that. So now we can stick this card together. So This is the second cut I've done to with the brushes, using the brushes. I do have four cards to film today. Don't know what order they'll go up on. Because that depends on which way I upload them. So you might get seen this Monday the 2nd or you might not see it till Friday the whatever date that is in a fortnight. Right, now this Needs to go on there like that, but it goes on with dimensionals. So the small one. and place that like that there and now then I just need to find some gems And we're just going to put three on. So put one there, one there, and one there. There we are. Our card finish for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. Which is usually a Monday and a Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.